So, so today, today is Sunday, May 18th, um, currently like 12 o'clock. There's a short story about me and my mom packing and moving to Hungary. Our flight is at 8 o'clock, leaving about 3 hours. I'm having leftover pizza for breakfast because um, we've been having chicken all week. I still need to pack quite a bit. This is a short story about uh, our process of moving to Hungary. This is also the uh, current state of the house. This is the living room. Kind of barren and empty. This is the uh, spare bedroom. You can probably hear it sounds like a cave. So my mom's bedroom, she's obviously quite a bit more uh, packed than I am. She already has her suitcase finished. I haven't even finished mine. This is uh, my bedroom. Still kind of a mess. Still need to get everything in the suitcase. Uh, Got some still dirty clothes. Gotta drop some of that back off at my dad's house. So a little wee update. Uh, pretty much got everything packed up. Stuff like that. That stuff's gotta go back to my dad's. Um, my mom helped me, thank you mom, for repacking my suitcase. So everything fits in my suitcase now. Hers is all packed. Kitchen is empty. Got a couple of things that we gotta throw out. My bedroom is empty now. Uh, and you know, curtains are down. This bedroom's empty. Again, this stuff we gotta take back to my dad's. Here's all the cardboard and garbage we have left over that we gotta deal with somehow. There's a big bag here of Curtains, blankets, uh, shirts, socks, all kinds of stuff, you know. Uh, and then that's all going to go to the secondhand store. My overseas are going to my dad's and then he's going to sell them for me. So yeah, that's a little update on us moving to Hungary. Uh, it's about quarter after one right now and... When Jim comes here, we're going to take everything to the secondhand store, go to my dad's house, drop the cars off there, and then it's off to the airport and off to Hungary. So it's going good so far. Hopefully the airport goes smoothly. All right, well, we're just about to move. And as you can see, house is very empty. House is very empty, everything's out. Uh, you've all seen this all before, everything's out. My room is actually, you, there's actually a floor in here, amazingly. You know, still empty in here, empty in here. Mowed the yard yesterday, so it'll be good for the new tenants to move in. But that's it. We're moving. Ready, Mom? Ready. You ready? I'm about as ready as I can be to move, so. You I did. Good job. I did, so. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> so, I'm on my way to my dad's house now to drop off my car. Uh, my mom's car is going to be dropped off there, too. And Jim is, he's on his way following my mom. Uh, we took that separate paths. We're all gonna meet up there, and then I'm going to hop into Jim's car, my mom's gonna hop in there. We're gonna go down to the airport, 
and then uh, it's four o'clock right now. It's about a quarter after, and then we're gonna go there, check in our baggage, get on our flight, and in about four more hours' time, we'll uh, be on a plane over to Hungary. Kind of exciting. This is the last time, you know, I'm gonna be driving on these roads. It's so sad. It's so sad. I did say bye to a lot of people yesterday. I said bye to uh, my uh, shop teacher, Mr. Smith. If he ever sees this, Mr. Smith, if you watch this, thank you, you're an awesome teacher. Learned a lot in your class. Uh, said bye to the guys I did co-op with uh, at the uh, transmission shop, it was a mechanic shop. Um, I said bye to Rick, Dale, Gardner, Paul. I said bye to all of them there. Uh, it was really nice seeing with seeing them all again. You know, I walk in there and they say, and I say, hey, I, I'm moving to uh, moving to Hungary. Oh, what? Are you not eating enough here? Ha 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 ha! got me. Good joke. There's a couple other things I'm dropping off. You maybe see it right there. My dad gets a fan. Uh, maybe you can see it there behind me. I got two RC trucks that my dad's gonna hold on to and sell for me. And then uh, he'll send me the money. Cause obviously I can't do a lot of selling stuff here if I'm uh, not here. So yeah, I see my mom's car is already there. That'll be it. At least, at least a year, probably before I come back and visit. So, yep. So off we go. Also, because my dad is getting this car, little, little present for him. If you know what it is. Little, little note. Oh, I need one key. Oh. What? Um, can you just use my key and unlock my car so I can get in? Yeah. Once I sign it, can you lock it back? Yeah. My dad has been gone for a date, Chunk. You've eaten through... Oh my god. Fat ass. Uh, where you put a key? On the counter, she says. Oh. Unlock. There. Otis. Otis. Hey. Bye-bye, Otis. Is also last time I do this for this shit box. Bye bye.
uh, it's been almost a month now. It's been 22 days. <laughs> I just counted. So uh, it's been 22 days since we've landed in Hungary. And I, from what you will see in the beginning of this video, that was edited on May 18th, 20th, somewhere around there. That was all put together then. This is almost a month later. Um, kind of waited for us to get settled in, get used to what it was around here. And I'm really kind of rather shy in filming in public or doing stuff like this. So kind of waited a little while. Uh, we found a little place here. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's a cool building. It's got a little kind of bench park area with some cool statues. Uh, we took my mom took some photos of me. Uh, there's a stair set out front. She took some photos of me on there. But uh, this is us in Hungary now. Uh, we have accomplished quite a bit. First of all, we made it here. Uh, we almost figured out how to use the public transit. We only got lost on the buses once, which is which is good so far. Uh, we've been to quite a few of the bathhouses here. There's, uh, I forget what it's called, what is it called? Which one? Uh, the big yellow one. Big yellow one. There's, there's a big yellow bathhouse uh, that we don't know the name of. Uh, it's about a 40 minute walk. Uh, we've been there a couple times. It's really nice. It's like Hungary's biggest bathhouse. Uh, it's really cool. All the, all the pools in there are all natural heated groundwater. They have different kind of minerals and stuff in them and it's supposed to help you with like if you have inflammation or indigestion or stuff like that or just go there to relax for the day. Uh, we went there. That one is on like the east end of the city. And then we went to another one, uh, the Gellier uh, bathhouse, which is on the west end. You have to cross the river to get there. Uh, that one's really cool. It's built into this really cool castle hotel place. It's kind of built into the side of a cliff face. It's, it's really cool. Um, we've had a little bit of the local cuisine. Uh, we kind of got rained out on the first week, so that kind of dampened our mood a little bit, but for the most part, we've been doing okay since we moved here. Uh, okay. We figured out money. Oh yeah. Groceries. Um, that's another thing we figured out. I, f I picked up really quick on it because I'm a little bit better with just math and numbers in general, uh, but the money here is so strange. Do you have any on hand? I do. I have three thousand. <laughs> So the money here, Hungary doesn't have the best exchange rate to Canadian currency. So the money here is really, really, I mean, different from Canadian currency or uh, Euros or American or anything like that. And here, oh, I gotta pause this. So currency is kind of weird because it doesn't have the best exchange rate. You see these, you see these everywhere. It's pretty much equivalent to five bucks. So you get three of these guys. That's about 15 bucks Canadian, 3,000 uh, foreign. Kind of weird. The, uh, the currency is kind of weird here. Uh, it's because it doesn't have the best. You know, you go to spend 20 bucks at a store or something like that, and it comes out to like six or 7,000 foreign. It, it, it's, little bit tricky to get around but we figured that out uh, we've gotten in contact with a couple of immigration offices and a couple of lawyers to see what we need to get in track for all of our papers um, what else do we do You're in school? oh yeah I, I got enrolled into Hungarian classes because obviously if I'm living here it'd be helpful if I know how to speak Hungarian so uh, I did a little bit of that and I only started from this filming. I only started like two weeks ago, so it's, I haven't learned a terrible enough, ter terrible, I haven't learned a lot. There we go. Word, words are hard sometimes. So I've got, in, I got enrolled in school. It's two days a week, about two hours a day, uh, but it's better than nothing. We got textbooks and stuff to do all the school work. Um, and I'm watching a lot of videos to try and learn how to do it and 
the the process of how Hungarian language works. It doesn't seem very difficult. It's just learning everything and learning all the words and how to conjugate everything. It, what, once from what I've learned, it, it's actually kind of simple. It's just th their language doesn't have prefixes. It's all subfixes, and then they can mash it all together in, into one word. So saying something like I'm going to the park it's kind of said backwards it's to the park going I am and that would be like the, the rough way of saying it but it's all one word and then it's all kind of it it it, it makes sense from what I've learned so yeah this is uh, we've moved to Hungary we've been here almost a month now and now the sun is blinding me, but yeah, it's been a really good experience so far. Uh, the culture here is really cool. Uh, a lot of the, the monuments and stuff like that are also very cool to look at and all the buildings here, all the buildings are so, they at least look so old. Um, if anyone, i.e. friends, have seen Instagram, you've, you've seen what the buildings look like here and some of the statues but it, it's so cool all the buildings here and everything is small houses shops the only the only large thing here is the goddamn the very main road like in and out of the city and the ball <laughs> that's it's like the only large thing here so houses are small apartments are small uh cars are kind of average there's no trucks or anything like that there's handfuls of SUVs and hand, handfuls of SUVs and I've seen like five trucks there's there's no trucks here but there it's mostly sedans and whatnot not like small little smart car kind of, I was kind of expecting that but it's actually just kind of regular sized cars um, and there's a lot of one-way streets here I kind of figured out how it works it's kind of like every other street from a main road like there's a main road there so one street would go in one direction get to like a street behind like a like a block or something like that and the other street would only come out in one direction so it's like every other street goes in and then every other street comes out and that's kind of what i figured out but yeah it's been uh been awesome living here so far so hopefully uh, many more happy months to come so among all the one-way streets they also have so many cool looking streets like this this one is all this tree and vines growing on it Super cool. It's got cobblestone roads. Super cool place. And I hear someone playing a trombone or something in there. <laughs> and if it isn't enough, guess what my last name is? That's everywhere here. Look at that. Bye. Uh -huh.